You are tuning to Boxing UK. My name is Rack Noble. We are here with Robert Garcia. Robert, how are you finding London? I'm, I'm loving it. You know, I love it. I love it over here. You know, it's a little bit colder than I expected, but I, I love it here. Believe me, it's not no California. It's not no LA. It's definitely cold out here. Mm -hmm. uh, just, of course, congratulations for sa Saturday night. Superstar on the making, young Jesse Bam Rodriguez. What are your thoughts on your young protege? You know what, this kid is, uh, I've said it for many years, you know, since his pro debut. I think this kid is one of my, the most talented fighters that I've, that I've worked with and uh, he's uh, coming along very well. He's shorter in his last performance. You know, people are already talking about him being maybe pound for pound one of the best in the world. And uh, he's only 22, so, you know, there's so much thing that he, so much that he, that he could accomplish. Oh, definitely. Earlier on this year, he defeated Quadras last weekend, Rang Versailles. And people are already talking. Chok, Sonny Edwards, uh, Nakatani, the options just endless. What would you like to see Bam do next? You know what, I definitely want him to come down to 112 and, and, and uh, challenge uh, a champion at 112. Uh, I know there's, there's, uh, there's a few, you know, Ray Martinez will probably be the, the, the first option because he's from Mexico and he, ha and he holds the WBC. But he's also been a little, you know, there's been a little, a few problems with him, you know, on fights, not making weight or, or canceling fights. So we might just skip that and go to another champion. I know there's a champion here in, in the UK uh, that uh, that holds one title. So I would love to come over here and challenge him in his own in his own hometown. Just talking about that fight in particular, which is Sonny Edwards, the IBF flyweight champion. He is currently looking for a fight. He's available to fight in the UK. I think he'd be all up for that fight. Would you mind bringing Bam over to the UK for a Sonny Edwards, Bam Rodriguez for the flyweight championship? 100%, you know, I think uh, 112 you know, flyweight is where, is where Jesse belongs and, uh, and uh, that would be a great challenge, you know, especially coming to, to, uh, to the UK to, uh, to challenge for that title. It would be unbelievable and uh, we'll be more than happy to take that challenge. Of course, in the UK, we've got various flyweights, one being Sonny Edwards, one being Prince Patel, so you've got quite a few options to come over to the UK. Um, of course, just moving on, for the attraction of tonight, Anthony Joshua. So you've started working with Joshua. What do you find out his strengths and what were the things about AJ you thought you could work on? You know what, Anthony, you know, I didn't, you know obviously I didn't know. I haven't been in any training camps, but he's very dedicated. He's focused, you know, in training camp, you know, he's He's very humble. Uh, he's hungry to become champion again. So that's you know that's that, that, that's the main thing. You know now we gotta work on, on on styles, whatever we want him to do. And he's following instructions. He's doing what he's told to do. And uh, come day fight, we're gonna do whatever it takes to come out with the win. So of course, after watching the first fight with Usyk, what do you feel you need to change or implement in Joshua's game plan to be victorious in this rematch? Well, you know what? When the first fight happened, honestly, even though I, I never met Anthony before, but I knew I knew Usyk because he used to train in my gym, and I know his manager very well. I thought I thought Anthony had no was gonna have no problem beating Usyk. I thought Usyk was just too small for him, and Anthony, being so talented and so powerful, I thought he was gonna hurt him. But. Uh, Usyk came out with a game plan, fought smart, and won the fight very, very well. You know, uh, pretty, I don't want to say easy because there's no easy fight, but he won it very convincingly. But, uh, you know, come you know, come the rematch, I talked to Andrew Fernandez, and uh, he said there were so many wrong things that went wrong in training camp when, when they were getting ready for the fight. So now we're just correcting a lot of things, correcting a lot of things, and changing things, and uh, come day fight, we're going to do whatever it takes to win the title back. So just talking on the situation, of course you're currently training with Angel Fernandez. Where will the training camp be based, or will you be back between London and U USA? Well, we're no, we're training, we're training here in uh, I think it's Love Bro, Love Bro. That's what we've been Love Bro. That's what we've been training for for the last few, couple of months. And uh, sometime in July, we're gonna travel to to uh, Saudi to finish training camp over there. So how are you looking for the, the sparring? Because of course, heavyweight southpaws aren't too easy to come by. Are you good in the department of finding the right sparring partners for Joshua to get him prepared for this fight coming up? It's not easy, especially somebody like Usyk. We're not going to find somebody that fights or anywhere near Usyk. We just have to have different guys. We already have five guys in our gym that are different styles. You know, we have to have a little bit of everything because in reality, Usyk already knows and has heard what everybody says Anthony needs to do to win the fight. So now we has got to prepare to do the opposite. So how do, so so we don't really know what kind of fight he's gonna bring. You know, what if he 
trust to back us up. What if he fights? He's the brawler this time. So we got to be ready for everything, you know. Obviously, pressuring and backing him up is the, the ideal thing to do. But we got to be prepared for, for different options because uh, the fight could change from one round to the other. So, of course, you've trained a dozen world champions in your time, but you're yet to have a heavyweight champion. You confident going into this fight that Anthony Joshua will be your first heavyweight champion? Come the 20th of August. I've I've trained a couple heavyweights before. I actually have a, a very talented uh, heavyweight in my in my gym right now, Antonio Antonio Mireles. He's three and zero, but uh, but yes, never a heavyweight world champion. And uh, you know I've had champions in every division, uh, except the heavyweights. You know, and uh, and I'm looking forward to you know uh, making Anthony my first heavyweight champion of the world. I think it's an interesting dynamic in that you have a flyweight, which is the minimum division and you could potentially have a heavyweight champion in the same camp at the same time which just shows whether it be the big men, the small men you seem to know, you seem to know what you're doing, you seem to know a thing or two about these fighters You know why? that would be awesome, you know, yes I've had champions you know, from the flyweight division actually from, from the, the lighter one, the, uh, the 105, I've had champions in 105, 108, 112, every, every division you know, except for uh, super middleweight, light heavyweight and cruiserweight and heavyweight so I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to this, you know, it's going to be a great challenge. But yeah, you know, that, that'll that show, you know, the world that, okay, I've never worked with any heavyweight uh, heavyweight uh, champion of the world, but that doesn't make a difference. You know, training camps, game plans, you know, it doesn't doesn't need to be a flyweight to a heavyweight. If you come out with a good game plan and the fighter's in great shape, the fighter's in great uh, spirit to win the fight, anything could happen. And just in the conversation of lefty heavyweights, Shout out to Rick Ramos, he said he's got a lefty heavyweight for you. If you need anyone in sparring, um, he said call, call him, he's got a guy for you. You know what, right now, I've already had that, those conversations with, with him and many other people. You know, right now the five that we have are great and we're going to see how well they work and if not, we're definitely going to make some phone calls and, and uh, it would be awesome to, to bring somebody, you know, some fighters from the, from the United States to come and help us work because uh, those guys over there, they're hungry and they want to make a statement. So that would be probably the best thing for us to do. Thank you very much for your time. All the best moving forward for the fight. See you on the 20th. And uh, again, all the best. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.